Hello, welcome to the crafting table. We are here with the Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance Extreme Arcane Archer playthrough. And we are in the first floor, first real floor of the Onyx Tower. What in the... Did you even have room to charge? Or are you just doing it? <laughs> because you can. Um, but yeah, we're here on the, the first floor. Shocking Burst... Ooh. Shocking Burst Adamantine. Yeah, it's nice, but again... The range, the min max range is too, too, too big of a gap, way too big of a gap. More armor I don't need. Yeah, e actually, each of their claw attacks, each swing is two attacks. I just noticed that. When they swing, when they when they pull back for an attack, that's an attack. And then when they swing forward with their claw, it's another attack. Good to know, I suppose. See that? You can kind of tell when they go to attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what is that noise? <laughs> Get out of here, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. It just kind of sounds like a... I don't know. It sounds like a little kid, maybe. Yeah! Ooh. Skimitar, huh? It's not always two attacks, though, it seems. It's weird. I I'm not even... <laughs> I'm not even in the cone of attack. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I couldn't get out of that attack animation. I kept trying to hit the block button. My guy just... No, I will not. <laughs> I will keep swinging. Swing for the fences. He just, he just wouldn't stop. He wouldn't stop swinging. We need health potions, man. We need to stop getting hit. Easier said than done, honestly. I say that, but then I keep taking risks. Come on. There you go. See, like that, like, I don't understand. <laughs> Those attack swings are wonky. There we go. Wounding Adamantine Scimitar of Defense, plus three, huh? 32 to 40? Hmm. That's too bad. Of defense, so I don't know... I think that gives you armor or something, but armor doesn't do crap, like you've probably noticed through the extreme playthrough so far. That was three attacks. That looked like three attacks to me, anyway. Three sparks. Yeah, I don't know. It's super 
strange, like... Some of the attacks on this is just... Uh, it's awkward to block. And there's definitely stuff like that in the second Dark Alliance as well. Whoop. Wait, what was that? <laughs> eh, actually, <laughs> that's not bad. I might use that. Plus five. Let's see, 39 to 151. 43 to 87. Yeah, I'll use that. Why not? It's better. It's not that, like, 12 to 112. So... What are we looking at for arrows? Now nah, we're fine on arrows. Keep worrying about arrows, and honestly, we're not running low on them. So this ought to be interesting. It was a plus five again, so our base attack is, I think, the same. It's adamantine as well, so the quality of the metal is the same. So hopefully it's all pretty much the same. Almost missed a cache of potions over there. What are we looking at for him, anyway? 24 healing potions. And we still need to keep our eye out for... A ring or amulet of intellect. Plus 15. Ooh, more potions. pretty funny because it's you know something to 151 and you just never see the 151 part I guess come on something above 70 would be cool or maybe it's just their armor something I don't I don't, I don't know I don't know how the Numbers work in the background on this game. Oh, now we know how to use doors. <laughs> Come on, man. Figured that door out real quick. Usually you guys end up running around for like 20 minutes not knowing how to get through. Gang up on him. We can get him. <laughs> dealing with that. <sighs> Man, what a hit. Like half my health gone in a second. One blithering instance. Okay, I think this is the technically the correct way to go. Oh, hey, you're not even close to me to attack yet. What's going on there? I think the only unfortunate thing about this axe is that it's not burst. So it's not Shocking Burst, which I think does a lot more damage on critical hits. Or possibly has a higher chance to critical hit, I'm not really sure. sure about what's 
over this way. This this way might be like a treasure chest or something. So I'm definitely gonna check it. And hey, if it's more enemies, that's always good too. chest, but pos arrows for days. Yeah, sure, grab some. I guess. Potions would be better. I actually have a lot of potions now, and a lot of arrows. Probably should just start using them. As many as possible. Just the enemies are just so fast. They get up on you really quick. <clears throat> Of course, I could use Hail of Arrows when they get up close like that. <laughs> Not a single... buddy. Right, up. Back up. A jeweled scale malolite. Too bad I'm not able to really sell things anymore. What is this? I know this can be just Thank you. I don't think it gives me anything, but... Oh, tell me it can't be destroyed. Keep using the arrows. My goodness. How many arrows? Whoa. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll take that. There we go. I knew I heard potions, so. I need those. I need mostly health potions at this point. A great sword, which I don't need. Not dealing with you and your silliness. Stop that. Silly. Oh, come on. I was out of the range. No, it wasn't. Oh my god, one guy. Get out of here, prick. Too much. <clears throat> oh, still not what I'm looking for. One moment. A coughing attack.
Come on. Yeah, come to life and come through the door. Oh, come off it with that. Get out of here. Please, just one piece of gear that I actually need. Just one piece of gear that I actually need. None of this full plate crap. <clears throat> Man, I wish you guys would actually get into your real attack range before hitting me. That'd be cool. Oh, thank you. Man, I need to use, like, a cough drop or something. This is crazy. Alright. So that gives us eight more intelligence, which hopefully... Hopefully... gives us a faster... Regen. Seems like it barely did anything. Uh, I mean, it's going semi-fast. I think I'll get a few extra attacks out of my intelligence now. I need to save. I know that... I, I, I'm pretty sure the next floor is just absolutely lousy with those, um... What do you call them? Not, I don't want that. What was that? Yeah, get it out of here. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the next floor is just lousy with, uh... The little... What are those guys called? Damn it. The little gargoyle dudes. Pretty sure, so... Yeah. That's this floor. I hate this place. Yeah. Tips. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> yeah, this 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 part sucks on extreme. It's the worst. All right, switch back to shock arrow really quick. Hopefully we can catch him. Nope. <laughs> I could have a rough time of it in here. I hate this spot. Like, it's bad for any character. Like <clears throat> even if you're even if you're playing as a sorceress and you got your lightning ball. Lightning ball's damage gets split amongst all your uh all your targets. I mean it's a good attack, but it still gets the damage still gets split up. It's kind of ridiculous. There we go. Got rid of one of them with that. Run for it. Yay, we got one. I think we got it now. Just had to switch up the strategy a little bit. Basically, shock arrow. Oh no, 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 no. No, you're not gonna screw with me like that. Piss off. Alright. <laughs> now we can go about our regularly scheduled program. And that's not the last time where you show up on a floor. And it's just bad and extreme. Uh, what do we got? Lots of arrows. Yeah, plenty of arrows. Let's switch over. Uh, 
Now we gotta deal with these idiots. Oh man, this is gonna suck. Hate these guys. But explodey. It's not too bad. And honestly, the exploding arrow did pretty good there. Kinda slowed him up some. Hmm. Maybe I should try Frost Arrow this time. Oh my god. You're just special, ain't ya? Please, just frickin' die already, man. How many hits does it take to get the squishy center of your bits? Oh my god. I hate, hate, hate gargoyles. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be like basically the entire time now. There you go. Ha! Frost arrow. Frost arrow is the play, <laughs> I guess. New bow would be the play, honestly. But we don't... We can't have nice things. Much in that chest, huh? Just some potions. What are we looking at for potions anyway? Okay, we're still semi okay on potions. Arrows are good. For a time. Oh, come on, dude. How much how many hit points do you really have? Oh crap, you little sneaky piece of garbage. What in the world? Oh my goodness. Extreme difficulty, ladies and gentlemen. Just need to get through this. I just, I want a new bow. I don't know what's so crazy about that request. Okay, really? How do you how do you miss a target that big? Ha ha ha! You're useless now. Ooh, hey, what do we got there? No, never mind. Oh, armor, is it? No, thank you. Apparently. <laughs> I think armor does a better job in the second game, but can't be 100% sure about that. I think it does. I think it actually makes a difference.
Either that or I'm mistaken again, which is highly possible. It's not like it... It's not like you can really... tell as far as, like, numbers. Yeah, that's actually... That actually goes into a conversational tangent that I've always wanted to talk about. And usually all you get is the, uh, well, you just suck, or, you know, get good, which is very unhelpful to the converse conversation about games in general and like that. But one thing I've always wondered about games like this, ARPGs, why do they have stats like armor and whatnot? What it, What is the point of it? Because honestly, it doesn't seem to do much in most of them. Most games that have armor like that, it's it's more it's more important to stat dump like health than armor because you're going to get hit regardless. But it doesn't seem armor takes off the percentage of damage that it takes. Or it just doesn't do anything. It just it just looks fancy on your character, and that's pretty much it. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's because I don't see the numbers working in real time. But it always seems it does nothing. So what's the point of it? Phew, man, look at that. I don't know why I used all those energy potions. I could have just let it kind of do its thing. You can you can stop that weird 180 degree attack arc. That would be cool. Thank you very much. A new bow, please, game. A new bow. I don't know why that's such a crazy request. Kind of chewed through those guys pretty quick. Uh, yeah, I figured there was more enemies. There you go, buddy. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm trying to avoid a coughing fit right now. I just need a cough drop or something help to help out with that uh, I think this way is the way up so I'm gonna go the opposite direction Get more experience points really close to leveling up again 
But that's actually it for today. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance Extreme Arcane Archer playthrough, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Until then, have a great night, everyone.